Because it's what a is Rock game. Fantasy? Rock Fantasy is a is a store. What do you sell? We sell everything from vinyl records to heavy metal music to classic rock, t-shirts, CDs, patches. We have a smoke shop with quite a few uh, pipes, smoking materials, vaporizers. And then in 2013, we added a pinball room where we're sitting now. Rock Fantasy, located in Middletown, New York, is in my opinion the best public location for playing pinball in the Hudson Valley. The location, boasting an impressive 30 plus games at all times, offers a nice mix of the brand new latest and greatest Stearns and other manufacturers, some classics Williams Bally's A-list titles, and a few classic solid state and EM machines thrown in the mix too, to balance through all eras of pinball. Rock Fantasy has been in the area for over 30 years and it's quite an impressive place. It's hard to look somewhere in the shop and not find something new, even all the times I do visit here there's posters all over the walls and great decoration everywhere, featuring concert posters from the 80s, uh, pinball posters and banners everywhere, impressive pinball toppers and clowns, all sorts of toys and bobbleheads and action figures scattered throughout. Everywhere you look, there's something cool at Rock Fantasy, and that's what makes it such an impressive place. But it also has great pinball machines. Rock-themed games are definitely a theme here at Rock Fantasy, and he absolutely keeps these games cranked nice and loud. You'll always be able to hear these games in all their nice sound packages. One of the things I also enjoy about Rock Fantasy is the heavy number of tournaments that are run throughout the year. Tournaments are run for charity events, new game launch parties, there's four annual open events for every season, and there's other miscellaneous tournaments and leagues scattered throughout. The room can't handle a ton of pinball players, but it does pretty well with about 20 to 35 pinball players at a big weekend tournament. Over this past weekend, I ran a Star Wars launch party event for the new Stern Star Wars pinball machine. The finals were played on Cheetah, between Steve Bowden and JT Harrison. <laughs> That's math, everybody. Congrats, That's math. Steve. <laughs> That's math. We ran both a match play tournament for 28 players with a head to head bracket final, along with a classic launch style party for the Star Wars game. It's a drop. <laughs> so what, no did, what did we learn today? We learned that we have to get hyperspace before victory or else we crash the game. That's bad. So that's what I did last time. So I, I mean, I guess. I have no idea if that's the key. So What do you think about your new game, Keith? We're here at the Stern New York Tri-State Area launch party for the Star Wars game. We crashed and one of the top players in, this, in the pinball sport. Using the power of sports. We crashed the game. Crashed the game. Yes. And unfortunately, we have to declare him the winner without actually playing the game out due to there's kind of a sketchy code going on. <laughs> Two of the players won to finish through the finals of oh, Star Trek. But they were overruled by the person who crashed the game. Yeah. And I think the guy who crashed the game goes in the, in, the, in the qualifying. He said if the game was crashed, you automatically qualified to the next round. Yeah. And I, you, you qualified to the next round. The next round of And you won, the, you won this nice start that Josh Sharp made you. And, uh, Thanks, Josh. Let's hope that they get some good code on this game because it is a nice game. And uh, we would like it to be successful. Right. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start the finals of the main tournament. I hope you can put this on Star Trek. I will. And right now we've got the main battle. Listen to the epic music play. Star Trek. Because on this corner we've got Steve Bowden in that corner waiting for hours. JT Star Trek. 
So if you happen to be in the New York City area and you're looking for a little bit of everything, and especially some pinball, I'd recommend checking out Rock Fantasy. Lots of the newest games, lots of your favorites, and overall a great vibe. If you're looking for pinball tournaments, it's not uncommon that we'll be running one on the weekends. Check out the IFPA calendar or the Rock Fantasy Facebook page for more details.